Once I started reading X-Men, I was obsessed with comics. It kind of went X-Men animated series, amazing characters of X-Men, X-Men comic books. The X-Men TV show came out and I became totally obsessed with Rogue. She was my favorite character. I remember the X-Men cartoon when I was a kid and I loved it, I was obsessed with it. Oh and yeah, yeah the, okay. sure, Saturday the whole, mornings made The it. whole Gambit Rogue thing, again, same thing. I was just like, yeah. I was like, I just want you to be together. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a poster of Gambit on a guy friend of mine's wall and was like, who is that? <laughs> and then as I got older, I started reading The New Mutants, which was really my, my gateway drug to the X-Men. The run was pretty far along, but I actually went back and collected all the early like Chris Claremont stuff and was totally in love with The New Mutants and their terrible hairstyles, which ranged from like mullets to uh, an amazing punk rock flat top on the super religious werewolf character. It was great. And there was Storm, who was really probably my first feminist icon ever. So I got really into the X-Men as a kid. And X-Men was definitely one of my favorites starting out. And I think that because I'm mixed, it was one of the first comic book characters where it was a strong female character in Storm who was not white. <laughs> so I got really sucked into that and I just absolutely fell in love with it. 